Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Network Merchandise Shop. Pick up your logo merchandise by heading over to abvnetwork.com, clicking on shop, and start filling your basket today. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for something for yourself, a customized gift, or logoed items for your business gift shop, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. That's the number two in the bar to go. Don't forget our friends at Neely Family Distillery now ship their unique distilled spirits directly to you. To order yours, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon, delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we continue our Getting to Know the ABV Network Saturday series, where I interview Steve about something new happening on the ABV Network. Today, we're focusing on our new Amazon merchandise page. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley. Hey, McNew. What's up? Hey, not much. How are you? I'm doing good. Yes. So we're going to be talking about the new Amazon page and what uh, that means and you know, hopefully uh, we can get promoted. We're still sitting at the basic level of <laughs> 10 designs at one time. That's it. So, yes. But and there's also an issue that is troublesome that that, that hurts us, I think. So I'm going to talk about that uh, when we get to the uh, the actual Amazon page thing. So uh, but before that, you said there's something you wanted to talk about. What is that? Yeah, Steve. So you've been married a long time. Oh, yeah. So it's 92. I- yeah, so I think you would know if your wife says, I get off at 6.30 and you have plans that night, that you should be ready to go at 6.30. Don't know that what that means? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. I was like, I have your outfit laid out. I have the kids outfit laid out. 6.30. I wanted you ready to go. Like, is that a miscommunication or I just think it's common well, sense? That men don't have. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I would have thought, here's what I would have thought. 6.30 is the time that we start getting ready then. If you're no. getting off at 6.30, yeah. No, I'm already ready. I got ready at three so we could clock out and go. <laughs> well, yeah, I could see where, where things went wrong there. Yeah, I would have thought. No, uh, I think it's common sense. Well, I get off at 6.30. Please be ready by then. But no, you're but, not ready. Seven. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris Come is on. a dude, though. So it's yeah. 6.30 and you're like, you're not ready. Doesn't it take a man like four minutes to get ready then? I mean. Well, I didn't have four minutes. I like, I think it's common sense that like, if I'm ready, you need to be ready by the time I'm done doing whatever I was doing. Just be ready to walk out that door. <laughs> yeah. Was he home? Was he with you where he could see no. that you were ready? He was before he had to leave. Like he had to take the kid to karate. And then I was like, cool, you'll be back before 630. You can both be ready by 630. And then he was like, well, karate ran late and we had to eat and all the drive throughs were backed up. So we went to three different ones. Oh, and I'm geez. like, well, we have some freaking chicken nuggets in the freezer that take three minutes in the microwave. Why would you stop all these places? Like yesterday was just a mess. I was so mad because <laughs> like, we were supposed to do photos and then they got run because we didn't have time because somebody has zero time management skills. <laughs> but, oh. So this was going to be, I assume this is going to be like a holiday photo thing coming up. Yes. So we have these pumpkin heads because have you seen the pumpkin head photos? I think they're awesome. And we got pumpkin heads. I saw one of you. Uh, Yeah. So we have three of them. That's what we were going to do. And then we ran out of time. So it already started raining. And I was just, I'm so mad. (laughs) Like you could have been ready at 630 and we would have had this issue. But Uh, (laughs) you seem, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I I live in a different world uh, than Chris does. (laughs) Because I never get in trouble with you for some reason. You're always always good to me. But, But I see. It's the rational stuff you get mad at Chris for. So I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm bro- believe me, I don't want to trade places. I don't want to be in trouble. Over there. There. He lives here. He should know how I react to things by now. I think like, pay attention. Uh, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because you're like, everybody's like, oh, McNeil is so nice. McNeil is so sweet. My husband's like, she's a bitch 90% of the time. Like he does live in a different world than everybody yeah. else does. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. I don't have to live in that world. I, and I like it because I get everyone else gets mad at me on the network other than you. So <laughs> at least uh, you usually got that going for me. So. Uh, yeah yes yeah even you know even justine who everybody thinks is so nice and sweet every time she does get mad at me sometimes uh it's been pretty good recently so i don't want, i don't want that to then no one takes in a spiral you. where suddenly she's mad at me again but uh she does get mad at me sometimes becca she does definitely <laughs> she'll let you know where you stand so but uh yeah not so much you so that's yeah that's our- I'm just getting mad about photos over here. Don't worry about it. (laughs) So who is the photographer on this thing? Okay. So this was another thing because I usually just do my phone on a tripod and have like this little clicker thing that I do like all my Instagram photos and stuff. It didn't work yesterday. So (laughs) we're already running late. So we're out there and it's not working. It's like Bluetooth connected. The button won't click. Nothing's taking. So I'm like, never mind. I just won't be in them. And I do their photos. Walk away. Cause I'm so frustrated because we're late and then that's not working. And I'm like, this was stupid. I didn't even want to do them today anyway. <laughs> just have a little meltdown. Was this going to be done at a park or where, where was the plan? Um, so behind our house, you know, where the pond is behind our yeah, house, yeah. there's a tree line on the back side of that and the leaves are changing colors. So right. it was gonna be like a really cool background with the trees, but it just didn't work that way. <laughs> so could you not do like a fun selfie one, at least one with the, all three of you? You know, I was over the- it. I was over it. <laughs> like I can't do minor inconveniences. Like the world uh-huh. could end. Like there could be an explosion next door. I'd be like, oh, well that sucks. My day is going to go on. But minor inconveniences just ruin me. And I'm like, I'm done today. I'm going to bed. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. There you go. There you go. I know. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, guess what? We're going to make things better because we're going to drink. What, yes. what do you got there, McNew? What are you drinking? I have uh, some Wild Turkey 101. Okay. Okay. That was decent. I'm probably going to be in the same boat here. I've got uh, Boot Heel, and uh, this is more than halfway gone. So uh, I heard what you had. Th- that being said, I haven't opened this in a while. So oh. I'm hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Oof. That was pretty mm. close. I don't know. Might have been a tie. I Might think it's a tie. T- I think I think we got to give a tie on that one because that was seemed to be as close as can be to me. So yeah. So cheers, McNew. Cheers, Steve. All right. What we'll do next? We'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking about the Amazon merchandise page that we have. We'll do that in just a few. Hello, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, and let's talk for a moment about our sponsors, the people that make this show happen. First up is our friends at Moonshine University. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification at their office in Louisville. The information I learned through lead instructor Colin Blake and their team there is something that I continue to draw upon frequently in my role at the ABV Network. It truly is the standard of establishing a benchmark of knowledge of the bourbon industry. From history to production to brands and people, it's all there. Check out their full listing of programs, including Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, production classes if you're considering starting a distillery, and much more at moonshineuniversity.com. I also want to talk about Neely Family Distillery. Back in May of 2018, I met Royce Neely at Limestone Branch's Craft Bourbon Festival. It ended up not only being the start of a great friendship, I started to truly learn about what makes craft whiskey so amazing. You see, I had been a bourbon drinker for over 30 years at that point, and like many people who had been drinking bourbon a long time, I was hard-coded into thinking Big Bourbon was where it was at and Kraft was on a journey to get there. Spending time with Royce and learning the things he does to make his whiskey taste better started to really get me to appreciate how things like sweet mashing, open-top fermentation, pot distillation, and the grains you are using not only makes your product taste better coming off the still, but also out of the barrel as well. I still love heritage brands and they make up a bulk of my collection. But when you find a craft distiller that is truly dedicated to the craft of distilling, you are drinking some of the best whiskey out there on the market today. That's exactly what's happening at Neely Family Distillery today. Check them out on the web at neelyfamilydistillery.com, or better yet, stop by and see them at their distillery in Sparta, Kentucky. And now, back to the show.
Hello, this is Matt Rainey, and you are listening to the Bourbon Daily. One day when I grow up, I'm going to grow a big boy beard, just like Colonel Steve. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we are talking about our Amazon merchandise page. Yes, we are. So if you don't know, we have an Amazon merchandise page, which is cool. You have to get accepted into the program. And so we did. And now we can design t-shirts. So, but you start at a basic level until they say, uh, if you sell at least 10 items, then you can get promoted. We've sold 10, but then I was reading, well, then they also look at your designs and uh, ours, of course, is kind of targeted to our, our, our audience, not t- towards the masses, mm-hmm. you know, so, so I guess that hurts us. Uh, so we haven't gotten promoted yet based on our sales, which is unfortunate because then you go from 10, you go to 25 uh, oh, and yeah. then you can get, keep getting promoted. Then it's 25 to 50. And then I don't know, you can get eventually into the hundred, but I think that at some point it's unlimited. You can put out as many, and, and that's kind of what we want to do. We want to get Mm-hmm. designs that that might be even show themed even you know if we say something one thing that's funny on a show but we want to create a t-shirt we want to be able to create yeah. it, put it out there and then send fans to that so that's what that's what we're doing we've got uh, we have our 10 designs out there and i've been rotating them a little bit to try to get interest in in what we're doing which is is cool so keep checking back there there's always going to be new ones in there so that's that's important but you know one of the down things downsides mcnew and i i think w- the important thing that we want to point out is the way to find it is to probably go to our website abvnetwork.com right on the front page i'll have a, a link where you can click on our amazon page and and check out the t-shirts and things like that but the problem is you can search specific designs like ABV Network Key West shirt. If you know what you're searching for, that'll mm-hmm. pop up. But if you search ABV Network, unfortunately, it may be in there somewhere. I don't know. They they because they're also a streaming platform. Amazon is. Oh it comes yeah. All these TV channels. I, I mean, it, because it's yeah. network, all these channels come up, and I I, I haven't searched deep enough so to see if we're even in I, there. But I actually ran into that the other day because I wanted the pop socket. They couldn't right. find the link that you shared. So I was like, ABV network pop socket. And I got like 30,000 pop sockets. None of them are. Right. <laughs> so I yeah, think a- we need to come up with like a unique pseudo <laughs> company name, you yeah. know, that, you know, ABV. I, I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, we need to come up with like a merchandise name that then people could search mm-hmm. that name. That's unique. And it can't be just even generic bourbon. It can't be like bourbon neat or, you know, some, right. people use that a lot. Uh, that you know, yeah. Yeah, we, we got to come up with something that's unique that, that then if you search that on Amazon, it'll, it'll uh, bring us up. So for right now, it's almost like you got to take a direct link to uh, our stuff. So mm, that's, a yeah, I, I ran into that too. Cause I was actually trying to search the other day and I just got everything I didn't want to find. So mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. The, yeah. the links help when you send those out. So keep doing yeah. that. Okay. So, yeah. so yes, I will. I mean, for right now, I'm going to continue to have it on the ABV network uh, website. Mm-hmm. Uh, as we record this, it's not necessarily out there, but it'll be, it'll be by the time this drops, it'll be out <laughs> it will there. Be the yes. So, so yeah. that's, that's the starting point, but then yes, I think we also need to work on a, a unique name that is ours that we brand all of our merchandise under, which would be cool. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's what's going on. So, I, I, you know, I like this idea of, you know, mm-hmm. cool shirt ideas that, uh, again, there's no minimum qu- quantity. We don't have to order them in advance. They, they print them on demand, which is nice. And yeah. uh, yes, it should be, it should be and what we're doing. So today. it's good for you guys because you and Justine don't have to keep stock, but it doesn't mean our shop's going away, right? ABB exactly. Shop, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So of course, yeah. Check out our shop. We've always got things in there. Oh, we're still even going to have t-shirts. If it, if we think that the demand is there for us to carry an inventory, a t-shirt, you know, uh, because we can have different quality than, than you get uh, with that. We, we know what we're getting. We can, we can order different types. Justine likes very specific sweatshirts and hoodies and all that. So, mm-hmm. so yes, when we want to carry stuff with our logo on it, uh, th- that's always the first uh, uh, thing to check is as our website so just abvnetwork.com and then click shop so for sure yeah so on go. um there's a new hoodie on there on our amazon site and it's danny approved because it has a zipper on it, it does. <laughs> yes because danny famously uh like our, our previous hoodie but they want to know if it had a zipper down the front we said no and he's like oh that's bad you know right on the live show right, so. yeah right when we were advertising it oh well like yeah. that's terrible right. oh right. thanks danny yeah, yeah danny, danny approved <laughs> We we had fun with one, uh, you know. We got rejected on one, and uh, McNeil, I don't understand this to be honest with you. So, uh, we were talking about the brand King of Kentucky, 
And yeah. we started making making fun of it. And then Becca drew this this uh, drawing of a stick figure guy and said so, with the, wearing a crown. Yeah, I saw it, it in said, the group. It was, it was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it said I'm the king of Kentucky. So we 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 put that on a shirt with the stick figure man and said I'm the king of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And then on the back we had the Bourbon Daily logo, and it got rejected because infringing on trademark. Now technically they're right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're kind of making fun of King of Kentucky, but. Yeah. You can't have a shirt that says I'm the king of Kentucky. It's it, to me, that's not really the brand. You could say, well, it's just a guy saying yeah. he's, he's the king of Kentucky. I don't, I don't know how we got rejected, but I didn't want to push it because in reality they were technically right. So. They are. I'm surprised they caught that though. Like that Amazon team's on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. And that came back. Sometimes t-shirt designs will take like two days or, or mm -hmm. like I, I submitted something on a Friday. It won't come back till Monday. That yeah. I submitted, and within like an hour, it was like rejected trademark infringement. I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> they, yeah, they were just yeah. like, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff on there that probably has some trademarks. You know, if you put like song lyrics on a right. shirt, you're right. technically supposed to pay the artist. That doesn't happen. No, no, there's all kinds of, of stuff like that. Yeah, well, they, they're on us, though. They're, we're on the watch list, apparently. So, <laughs> I just, yeah. they're out to get you. No King of <laughs> Kentucky shirts. I guess maybe that's one we'll eventually print ourselves. So I, have, maybe you could do the little stick figure guy without the words on it. And we'll, <laughs> maybe. We'll, yeah. we'll just know. And then we'll know. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, I have no idea how they, how they found that out. But yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. McNew, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? I am on Instagram at McNew ABB. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out because everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, my book is right on the main page. Check it out. I am a number one best-selling Amazon author right now. How about that? I know. That's so exciting, Steve. And we recorded earlier in the week, and we got to update your rankings because you were definitely right. number one like, now. That's like exciting. 34 then, but yes, I made it yeah. all the way up to number one. I got the little banner said number one, uh, which is awesome. very cool. And yeah, I mean, uh, that's like a dream come true if you're an author to, to hit that. So it was, it was really a cool cool time when that, when that happened. And it continues yeah. to sell well. So thank you to everybody who's bought it. And if you haven't, please check it out. People are already having fun with it. Uh, you know, know, the, the them and Heidi, did yeah. they just go on a trip just because they got the book? They, they did, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. they're, and they're racking up points and trying to figure out how more they're going. They went through the whole book to put together like a plan to maximize their points and stuff. So uh, we'll I love that. Happens. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. All right. Well, there you go. Well, uh, did I ask you if there's anything else before we get out of here? Nope, but I would like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review that includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com. <laughs> you know, this is just going to get worse as I get older. Do Eventually, I won't even know what I'm talking about. You'll still be doing shows with me. I'll be like, huh? who are you? Who was on the show today? Why am I here? <laughs> just wrap it up, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there you go there you go all right for our audience we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow looking forward to that until then take care everybody and we'll be back next week where we talk about the abv network uh shop well, until then take care everybody see ya Bye. peace Before we finish the show, let's chat for a moment about Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you just want to experiment on a small scale on the stove in your kitchen or try your hand at a bigger setup in the backyard, Moonshine Still Pro can help. They have different still offerings as well as accessories and even grains from Goldstone Mill to help you make whiskey on par with what you get from your favorite distillery. They can even assist with a DIY still project by supplying some of the parts you can't make yourself. Check them out at moonshinestillpro.com. At the ABV Network, we're lucky enough to have some great friends. Amongst those friends is the Goldstein family, owners of Goldstone Mill. Goldstone Mill is a full-service mill offering a variety of heritage and heirloom grains. Their unique approach of working with mills around the country allows them to offer you affordable shipping opportunities to meet the unique needs of your distillery or brewery. They will consult with you to ensure the grains you are selecting 
meets the unique flavor profiles you are looking for. If you are a home brewer or distiller and you're looking for the grains that your local distillery or brewery uses, Goldstone Mill is the place to look. Check them out on the web at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or shoot them an email at hello at goldstonemill.com. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.